ओके हेलो हेलो हाय आसम सो वेलकम टू दिस बोर्ड मॉडरेटिंग सेशन फॉर टेंथ ग्रेडर्स इट्स एक्चुअली मेंट फॉर टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड ओके बिकॉज़ आई हैव नो एक्सपीरियंस फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो दिस इज सपोज्ड टू बी फॉर टेंथ एज इट विल बी बट स्टिल इफ यू आर watching for 12 i guess there are some general equations or some general instructions that you might also you know, find it helpful so that's good if you are participating in this live session and actually i wanted this to be live but i'm really sorry it was like uh, took a lot of time so it was basically because i had my own exam so i could not really make this session and uh, most of your board exam is already started okay i, I don't know what like maybe 12 standard you might have done your english exam by now and 10th might have done like two to three papers right now also almost went like half way through but at least for the next papers if you apply these stuff that i'm going to tell you in this video that will be really helpful for you okay so i want you all to first of all keep a book in front of you okay just do as i'm telling you keep a book and a pen in front of you and start writing down everything that i'm mentioning on each of these slides each slide has got one topic okay so i want you to make like one page for one topic as in one slide and whatever i speak because i'll not be writing everything on this ppt so whatever i'm speaking please note it down in that particular page itself and refer to it like as 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 soon as possible as much as possible these are mostly concerning the general instructions but i'll also be giving you some instructions for maths and science specifically with the problem solving for 10th grade okay so let's have a look at that uh, first of all if you're wondering uh, tips books and stuff that's my channel and uh, i am rithvik surya i uh, got 10 cgpa possible in aiss that is 10th standard board exams so i guess i'm a good person maybe to tell you all this is going to come in this session okay and uh, there is one more thing you would like to know that my channel uh, it makes videos for 11th standard 2 okay so like i will soon be uploading i am not like i have prepared the videos and yet to upload them so if you are in 10th standard and want to continue with 11th standard as in next year like this year one month later you'll be in 11th this goodly like it's most mostly advisable if you start watching my channel subscribe to it because i'll be uploading almost complete bio okay i got a uh, full bio and english and math and crt solutions okay so this is almost full like full bio full english and maths and crt solutions full i have done i'll be uploading that to you as time comes and as far as physics and chemistry is concerned i have done some topics most you could say almost like 80% of your uh, physics and chemistry is done So I'll be uploading that too. It will be all free, of course. So you can watch it, and you know it will be helpful for your exam. Okay. Coming to the first slide. So in this board moderating session, mainly we're going to discuss about about the board exam. Okay. About as in what exactly is this board exam? How you're supposed to face it. Now this year, as you know, is the last year you will have this dilemma because next year onwards it's purely boards. So this year you have an option for either home exam or board exam. As in you could either take a board based exam or a home based exam now you all made your choices right i mean like i don't think you have any dilemma left now because it might have been the time you actually started preparing for boards but now that you already started writing your exam most probably you've done your choice and you're good to go with that so if you if you started writing the exam then i hope this is mostly related to board exam students so home exam students might not find it too helpful but let's just go ahead so there might be some regret in you like most of the students who are taking home exam might say ah i i could have taken board and you know some board exam students might have think like maybe i i might have done good at home i made a mistake so let's make an analysis so that you do not have any confusion you do not have any doubt on what choice you have made because whatever choice you have made is something that you are almost specifically sure about in other words once you make a choice you're not supposed to you know regret it or maybe try to change it once you are out of that phase you are out of the phase of making decision you are given an opportunity to make the decision back in october 
you made the decision now so there's no point in going back again and saying ah i didn't i i should have done this i should have done that there's no point like that okay so just for the first few minutes let's just discuss what are the pros and cons of board and home exam because next year onwards you will completely be uh, you know thrown out of cc as in you will not be able to take any of these decisions about whether to write board or home based and you will have only like you will have full term as in chapter 1 to 15 in maths and chapter 1 to 16 in science you will have to write every single you have to study every single chapter for your final exam there is obviously you have term wise distribution but as in in the first term that is your half year in the exam you will be writing half of the textbook and after that that is in your final exam you will be writing the whole textbook okay and even this year who are taking part in 10th after 10th that is in your 11th you will have the same pattern as in you have no CC, okay? So this is, I hope you all are well aware about this, okay? This is a very big deal that's going on right now. No CC is key, okay? So just make your decision proper, okay? Because everyone says this is your last chance you should take board or, I mean, you should take home exam. I don't know, it, like, it, it happens in my area. Like, most of the students are like, ah, this is the last chance. Next best student won't get it. So let's just take home exam. But that's not really the best option because home exam is at times a little more difficult than board exam yes i'm saying this seriously because last year i have compared your home exam and board exam paper let me tell you what it is like okay so your board based exam mainly concentrates on something called your aptitude okay something called your analysis okay your application so all these are there in your board based exam your home home based exam mainly consists your memory remembering and obviously there is some parts of application and generals people say board exam is tricky but is it really tricky it is tricky but the thing is depends on student to student some students might feel that home based exam is much more difficult i personally feel home based exam is difficult for social studies you just cannot answer those one mark questions given to you in home based exam i couldn't okay that is a fact but in board based exam you are given such simple questions in one mark questions and then you are asked to explain stuff, you are asked to analyze stuff, you are asked to give reason to why so and so is done. Okay, especially in geography, now you have these lifelines of, uh, you know, government and you have this, uh, those cha chapters like uh, your uh, climate and stuff, your uh, mineral resources, industries. See, industries and mineral resources mainly, mineral resources is horrible chapter, right? I mean, you have so many stuff to remember, so many minerals, mica, aluminium and all that and then, you need to know the locations, the mines, the ores, you know, all those stuff in the map, their transportation mechanism and all that, percentage. You don't really need this in board exam. Let me tell this, quite frankly. You will be asked to give a short note about maybe one mineral and that will be a very broad question, okay, for some two marks or something. So you will not be asked such questions in board exam. That's the main thing. In home exam, you will be asked such questions for one mark, okay. So sometimes it might be like this, but there is one more very important thing. Board exam is for all over India. I mean, you got three papers, right? You got one for foreign, one for Delhi, and one for all India. You will be writing your all India paper. If you are in Delhi, you will be writing Delhi paper, but mostly it's all India, I guess. Okay, so the thing is, if you are uh, taking part in your board exam, and if you are preparing for that all India paper, then it is same throughout India. But home exam students will have different paper depending on the different schools they are in. For instance, if somebody is in KV Mysore, then they will get paper from Bangalore region. Okay. And if there is somebody from, say, KV Chennai, then they'll get paper from their own school, as in from the Chennai school itself, or the, or the head, head office of the Chennai. And if somebody is in, say, Mumbai, then they'll also, I guess, get paper from Bangalore region only. It depends on the region, okay. So whoever is in all these little you know, states over there, uh, if somebody is in, like, uh, maybe... Um, you know, and I'm talking mainly about Karnataka because I guess this is like most of the Karnataka students usually watch this stuff. Okay, I don't know. There's some psychology like that. Okay, fine. So if you are maybe say, um, because it depends on like which region your school lies in. Okay, even some other CBSC school. Okay, some other other than KV. Okay, so let us consider about something like Saint Joseph Central or somewhere. Okay, yeah, Delhi Public School or anything, anything. So the thing is your school will be lying under a region okay and the paper is prepared from that region from that center okay and there will be three sets and in the last minute of your exam out of three sets they'll pick one set and give it to you 
so it depends from region to region as in your paper might be very easy okay it can also be very difficult trust me home exam papers are sometimes tougher than board exam i can show you the thing i have myself analyzed these okay it could be difficult it could be very easy it could be completely based on see the blueprint remains the same but the uh, the, from, the region from where the question is prepared either it's application based either it's calculation or it's remembering either it is you know value based that differs hearts that differs okay i mean you really cannot you can just totally change the whole pattern it doesn't really fix on a start but board exam is all india in other words if you are writing a paper in all india everyone has the same paper so this paper is made concentrating every single student every single student in india so it has to be moderately easy as in you will have almost i can say almost 60% of the question is easy okay and you'll have like something like uh, maybe around 30% more which is a little medium and about 10% which is you could say tough tough as in something which you might not be able to you, know, you might have a little think a little there's only one difference in maths we'll come to that later but so having said this home based exam very good if you're taking that because you can make an attempt you know and you know you can get good scores but depends on which region you are in so i personally prefer you take board exam so if you're taking board exam congratulations okay and the next thing we are talking about is overall preparation how you are supposed to go about throughout the year as in you have this whole year with you you was you been studying i hope you have been studying like since maybe the beginning of march okay and went all the way down till uh, i hope you completed your syllabus by jan so march to jan you almost had a very long time you know? like it's, it's more than and then for you to complete your syllabus and let me tell you then syllabus is also quite small especially if you're talking about the second term how many you got hardly like eight chapters in maths and five chapter six chapters in science social with all become so you can do that right there's nothing difficult in that so what you need to realize over here is how you have prepared throughout the year just try to recap the whole thing okay so there might be different ways some students might be like referring to textbooks as in like read textbook okay read and crt okay and some students would be like read reference books refreshers some students might like watch videos might discuss about this you know go to tuitions tuitions in coaching so there are different ways in which you studied the same so dear so no matter what you studied you i hope you prepared the notes okay because i have already made a session last year last year at this time when you started your lesson i don't know if you watched this if not then there is no point in watching it now but i have made this video on youtube itself i have published that telling you the preference and the preparation of your 10th standard how you are supposed to start with 10th standard how you are supposed to refer to materials with 10th standard you know all that stuff so i have already made this video if you have followed that you might have already prepared your own notes just like the way i asked you to do so so i hope it's everything is clear now so your overall preparation has to be either of these two. okay but there should be one thing which you shouldn't miss and that is the first point we did see you have to do this there is no other alternative you have to read the textbooks you have to solve your exercise questions you have to solve the example questions with this should be your overall preparation you shouldn't be like one day before the exam throughout the year you should have done this okay i'm not trying to discourage you now if you are not done that i'll give you some techniques don't worry okay by the end of the video you will also be happy but it's preferred okay that you are supposed to read it and that has to be done uniformly throughout the year it shouldn't be like one week i won't study and one week i'll study like 12 hours a day it should be uniformly done throughout the year otherwise there's nothing there's no point in studying okay so that is the first and the foremost thing whether you have made a good overall preparation if not then there is nothing to regret but just know that you are in the verge of something that is not favorable okay so you have to do a little bit of more hard work for this exam as in your board exams okay 
so that is the that's the second thing the third thing being last minute preparation now we discussed about overall preparation now we know how we have done it overall how we have done it throughout the year we are good with that maybe bad with that i don't know so how are you supposed to go about last minute as in like maybe a week before the exam you're waiting almost one week cap right for every exam huh? two to three three days three days as an average will be given like four days gap so what are you supposed to do in this four days okay this is simple last minute doesn't literally mean minute but you should have done your board papers okay board exam papers past year board exam papers at least three years in all the subjects and five years in maths but love uh, 2012 2013 14 15 and 16 we have these many papers with you. i'll tell you where to get these papers also not to worry so out of this all the five years paper you should have done for your maths okay and at least three years paper you should have done for your all the other subject that is your sst you know languages and science science is prefer that you do five years paper only still why am i saying this because this is supposed to be done after you complete your syllabus so again it depends on when you completed your syllabus if you completed it on say jan then you are good to go jan to feb feb to march you almost one and a half month time easily you can complete all this stuff even if you do like one paper a day okay one question paper a day then you, even then you can do it very easily right i mean like maybe three papers over here 12 actually we have only two papers so two then three three ones are three six nine twelve thirteen fourteen papers Maths ke liye 14 papers, 14 din ho gaye. Next question, one month time. And here there are how many? 3, 3, 6, 9. 9 for 3 subjects, uh, that is 3 topics. Not even 3 papers, you only do 2, 2 papers. Now, foreign paper, I am not asking you to do foreign paper. Foreign paper is not important for you. All India paper and Delhi paper you have to do. Okay, and that too, if you are referring to some reference book, then you will note that even though there are 3 or 4 sets, the first set paper is given to you and in the second set paper they will only give you the uncommon questions as in questions which are not there in set 1 those questions, uh, the questions which are shifted out which are not there in set 1 that will be given to you in set 2 so you see that set 1 and set 2 will be the same hardly like 4 to 5 questions will be different and that too for like less marks you know, mostly similar questions so like if, if you do like all the 3 sets are along with your uh, initial that is your set 1 then even two two papers would be more than enough. So three six papers, six papers for three subjects as in uh, eighteen papers, eighteen days, eighteen plus fourteen day, uh, you know, fifteen days over here we took, right? So eighteen plus fifteen days, you you done it within a month. So there's nothing to worry. You got one and a half months, and you still got around fifteen days left. Fifteen, nine, around uh, twelve days will be left. Okay, in this twelve days, you can again revise for all the subjects. And then again, when your exam starts, you will still have like maybe six days gap for every subject. So in those six days gap, you can again go through this and just have a look at the questions which you found difficult. So I'll tell you how to solve your paper. If you solve your board paper, then I hope you know how you've done this. Uh, like when you're writing down all the questions, you're supposed to answer it in an answer sheet itself. As in, take a long notebook, tear a few pages. Okay, and then start answering the question just the way you do it in your exam. Okay, the same presentation, guys. No cheating over here. Same time, same presentation. Just do it the way you're doing it in the exam. Clear? So, once you're attempting your questions, you might find some questions difficult. Okay, just put a circle over there. And don't purchase those books which have solution below the questions. I've seen some horrible books like that. Okay, they're like, they have, sorry, they have a question and just below that they have the solution. There's no point in that, yeah. I mean, why do why would you do this such a thing, yeah? There's no point because you've got the solution over there. You're supposed to have mock tests, isn't it? So get something like maybe scanner is a very good choice because scanner has got no solution behind. Uh or else you can go for together with together with has got no solutions. I mean if you have solution in the last page, that's fine. Okay. Oswald has also got no solution. You have it in the last page, no problem. But don't have it like below the question, right? There's no point in that. 
So if you're having so much trouble finding the question papers, I'll give you another source. Let me come to that point later. So the thing is, on this last minute, as in the last one week time you have, like around four days maybe for every exam, then you're supposed to just, whatever questions you ticked up, whatever questions you marked as difficult in your uh, past year papers, just look at those questions. Okay. And this last four days is more than enough for you to complete your NCRT solutions. So once again, how many days ever you get time, even if you do like four to five questions, like four to five times a single question, it doesn't matter, but still complete your NCRT solution in these four days. Okay. This is a must. NCRT solution has to be completed in these four days. Okay. So, because that's like a complete refresher, right? You get an idea of everything that's there in the chapter in these just NCRT solutions, that thing. Okay, just like a few questions per chapter and you'll have every single concept covered in that. So, please cover these NCRT solutions. In science, you have NCRT examples, please cover the example solution. Okay? Examples and NCRT solution has to be done in the last four, four, four days or whatever time you have, even for your languages. As in, like, you will not be asked any question, but still for languages also, you can follow the same thing. Social science, obviously, questions will be from NCRT. Maths and science, mostly it will be from NCRT. As in, they'll change the numbers, they'll change, they'll twist the question, but the basic idea will be from NCRT, okay? So, go to your NCRT solution in this last four days. And if you have made notes, you have to make notes, by the way. So, it's very good if you made notes, read the notes. But, do not refer to theory. If you have doubt, try to do it before these four days itself. In the last four days, please do not refer any other textbook, science books, you know, any other big, big, you know, your big fat foundation books, anything, do not do that, sir. Never, never, ever do such a thing, like, in the last four days. Because it's, like, really horribly wasting your time, okay? So, please don't refer to theory. Don't think that I'll read the chapter once more. You already read this in the year. Uh, okay, you should have. You, you might have and you should have. There's no other choice. So, in the last four days, it's, it's not a real time, you know, for you to read the textbook. Please don't do that. Just go through your NCRT solution. Solve questions. Especially for physics and maths, please solve questions. Physics, how many chapters you have here? You've got only hardly like maybe, you know, you got um, light, reflection, refraction, and human eye. That's it. Only two chapters. Sources of energy, Chodana, that is easy. There's nothing, no numericals in that. Human eye, maybe, what is a numerical? Only you'll be asked to find the power of lens. That much you cannot do. And so try to prepare as many questions as in just practice the questions. Okay, even if it's like the same type, try to solve them. Don't solve everything, don't write everything on the book or something. Like solve maybe 10 questions on the book, then the other questions you must be able to do it mentally. Don't find this final answer. Don't try to calculate anything. Okay, just write the formula. You should know that I'm using this formula, applying these values here. That's it. Okay, so power of lens, questions from uh, your, uh, you know, uh, human eye and the colorful world is very important. It's quite easy also. And from light reflection, refraction, every single question, as in your finding of focal length, your lens formula, your mirror formula, or whatever is there in that chapter, every every single numerical has to be done. No choice. You have to do it. And all your ray diagrams. Because ray diagrams are very, very important. They will not ask you exactly to like draw the ray diagram so and so, but they will ask you to explain such behavior. And you will have to explain stuff using ray diagrams itself. <laughs> okay, there's no other choice. You have to explain stuff using your ray diagrams. Okay, so for that you have to draw ray diagrams. So instead of by hearting all the ray diagrams, practice the laws. You got four laws, right? I think I've taught you this. There's no choice. Anyway, just read the ray diagrams, read the laws, okay? Try to analyze that stuff, okay? Like you have uh, this thing, right? In your uh, principal axis, and then you maybe have a lens over here. Okay, and then you got your focus and all that stuff. So, if you like, light ray is going parallel, then it'll deflect and pass through the focus. It is passing through the focus and go and you know reflect parallelly. And if it's going on the uh, optic center, then it'll go straight away through and pulls it part through and to pass with that. All these laws, now simple laws, I said. Obliquely, if it is going there, it'll reflect obliquely. Okay. So all these stuff, you must, you must, you should learn the laws. Because, see, the stuff is, whatever you're learning in this laws, you're supposed to apply that in your question. They will not ask you to, you know, give the fourth case. They will not ask you to uh, draw the ray diagram of a body which is placed between the focus and the principal axis, uh, or between the focus and the pole. They will not ask you such questions. 
they will give you a situation they will say like this so and so boy is standing in front of this mirror he is able to see himself really large and you know inverted where is he standing draw the ray diagram to explain it so where is he standing between the focus and the pose you, you must immediately flash that stuff and then you know light it over there that's very important okay, so please do such stuff you must know the laws you must know the diagrams diagrams as in the laws of the diagrams even for your bio stuff learn up by heart all the diagrams all the labeling everything Okay, so in the last few minutes, for science and math, especially, I'm telling this to you. All the diagrams, terminologies, and everything, NCERT solutions, okay, and laws, okay, for mathematics, NCERT solutions, and doubts in these papers. That's it. Okay, nothing else. No theory work. There is no by hearting, no latama in the last few minutes. Okay, okay. material I'll not be. Dealing with this because I have already told you which material to follow. So once again, repeating the same thing for your board, you have to go with NCERT. Okay, NCERT may you have different materials. Okay, so you must know what are the materials you are referring to. First is example sums, which is there in your textbook. Examples, what are they? Now I'll tell you why it's important. Okay, now this is really really important. Um. Circles may have देखो maths में you have only like maybe four examples in circles है ना example sums see you are able to solve all the questions in exercises you learn all the questions okay what is the intention of the people like the dudes who are preparing your NCERT book let me tell this it's an interesting thing NCERT people they think that the book is prepared for students who are self studying because the book is supposed to be done without a teacher's guide. Without teacher's guidance, as in if you don't have a teacher, if you're sitting at home, you know, like those open schooling students, they're brilliant. Yeah. So if you're sitting at home also, you should be able to solve all the questions. You're supposed to understand all the concepts. That is the reason why it's been prepared such a way. You have a look at the other books, as in the books pre like preferred by other schools. Even if you look at the National Institute of Open Schooling material, they have a very short point-wise explanation for everything because they know. कैसे भी करके teacher इसको संभाल लेगी. Okay, but your NCERT people, they have made it in such a way that you are supposed to read it and understand by yourself. Okay, so with that particular, you know, uh, intention itself, your example sums are very, very difficult. You might find it easy in the beginning. See, I'll tell you the intention. If you are solving all the example sums, what NCERT people think is, if you are able to solve all the example sums, then your exercise questions will be solved. They think so. That's what people think. Those that's what NCERT writers think. They think that if you're solving all the example sums, because example sums have solution. Okay, they have solution below that. Okay, so if you're able to understand everything, this is a very difficult question. You could say this is a high level question. So if you're able to do this, then exercise will be very easy for you. So without solution, you should be able to solve the exercise because you have read the examples. So all examples are important. That's what NCERT people think. That's the reason they have prepared examples in such a way that it's like got the potential of toughness in it. Okay, so that if you are going with the examples, the exercise will be easy for you. So don't just go and you know take some other and then see other solutions or something. Read the exercises done for. As a matter of fact, you have to you have to like look at all the example sums also. You might think it's very easy. Obviously, it is because students are prepared with the examples, right? So obviously, it's supposed to be easy. But you see certain examples at the end. For instance, आप circle chapter में देखोगे तो circles में I think example six or seven I believe some example is there like this. इतना tough है it's almost impossible to solve. Okay, they given you a circle diagram I said yeah I could I don't remember the question you have you believe it or not I never referred to NCERT book after like one year tenth कदम होने के बाद book ही नहीं उठाया मैंने I was preparing for eleventh just so that you know okay So, but I still remember. You see, this was like a very fun question for me. I saw some chakra. There was some diagram like this. They have given some theta. You're supposed to find some alpha over here. I see some question here. I don't know. I'll see if I can. Then I'll put it on the comments. Okay. It's not a tough question. You'll obviously not be able to even look at the solutions and understand them. Okay. So that's the reason I'm telling you these questions are really tough. Okay, brilliant questions. So please read your example sums also. 
and then your exercises, obviously. Physics may be over examples. Exercise could be part of, and then your exemplar. Now, what is this exemplar? Now, I can at least give you a challenge that at least, at least, na, twenty percent of the audience who are watching me don't know what is example. एक सेकेंड ना एक सेकेंड ओके फाइन ठीक है आपको पता नहीं व्हाट इज एग्जांपलर व्हाई बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट अ फेमस बुक स्कूल्स डू नॉट प्रेफर एग्जांपल but it is an awesome book for board preparation let me tell this to you yahan se at least you can expect um they say usually you have around 20 to 30 questions that is concerned general 30 questions in your board exam then 30 questions mein se five questions to aayega 100% from exam they'll change the numbers again i'm telling you they'll change the numbers but the question will be very similar to that in exam and what is this example it's a book prepared by ncert itself okay NCERT has prepared this question bank. Okay, so you will get this NCERT publication. You will get the exemplar solutions by Aryan. You will get the solutions of the exemplar by Aryan. Please purchase the solution itself because NCERT book is very small. There is no solution. It's very tough actually. Exemplar problems are tough. So please purchase the solutions by Aryan. It's only for maths and science. You won't get it for other subjects. Maths and science का exemplar आज नहीं है तो अभी जाके खरीद क्या हो? If you have maths and science exams still remaining, yeah, but even if because see everything is divided in exam, like you have one mark questions, everything is separately divided. Okay, you have MCQs, okay, and you have all those match the following questions. You have reasoning and assertion type questions. Reasoning and assertion, pata hai na? Statement A is given, statement B, statement B is given, statement A is true, B is false, B is false, A is true, both are true, both are false. A is true, but B is not the reason of A. Uh, uh, B is true. A is not the reason. B is true. B and A is the reason of B. All such questions. Okay, and then you have uh, five mark that is long answers. You have hots. See, everything has been given to you. Even value based question. Okay, B B Q. Everything has been given to you in separate headings. But like they have put up like one mark question, five question. They are fill M C Q is five mark question. They are. I say if it hots, two three questions there. So they will give you like this in heading. Okay. And now, if you look at your blueprint, you are very much aware about your blueprint, right? So, blueprint may they will tell you, like, as in maybe if you are talking about, uh, say, carbon and its compounds, okay? So, carbon and its compounds, you see that there is one BBQ, one value base, which I don't know if it's there or not. I'm giving an example. So, if there is one BBQ, then what you do is instead of learning all that stuff, BBQ column job, aapka example, I'm open carbon and its compounds, open the BBQ questions. वहाँ पे से suppose there are five value base questions, okay? Just read these five questions, na. If you read these five questions, यहाँ से एक question तो जरूर आएगा. Mostly आएगा, ninety nine percent आएगा यहाँ से एक question. Okay. So please do such a thing. आपको यहाँ पे दिया हुआ है, because देखो five mark question तो हर chapter में नहीं होगा. You will not be getting five mark question from all chapters. So you know, like only one or two chapters are there where you will get five mark questions. Suppose you are getting five mark question in uh, human eye and the color of the world. Okay. Suppose. Let us say you got five mark question over here. So here we have five mark one question, na. So take your example book, open your five mark column. Okay, my you mean I am colorful. Well, just there are some five to six questions needed. So who knows? Maybe if I am getting question directly from example, you will get out of out in that question. And so this is very very important. So example ko zarur lega. This is a must material for your boards, board exam. Okay, not for home exam, but board exam too. It's a must. You have to solve example questions. If not all, maybe if not all the questions, at least I told you right. Such a way. Science के लिए तो तुम कर ही सकते हो. There's nothing in uh, like there's nothing in the example for science. छोटा सा बुक है. You can complete that stuff. Okay. So this is also very very important for you. Okay. Obviously. और कुछ है materials में. Don't refer any reference book in the last minute. 
I'm only talking about last minute stuff. Our material system, I could listen to the Vilaya, I have to tell everything like the deep coordination, all that stuff. There's no point now, you've already completed your year. So, last minute, period, you have to only refer to NCRT examples, exercises, and exemplars. Okay. And for social studies, also, you only refer to NCRT solutions, examples, or social science, you have to make some short notes. You should have made it. Okay. Just read the short notes. Okay. And you will get Oswald question map. I hope we have it now. We yeah, also have question mark mail, you have flow charts. Okay. And you have questions. But see me don't go click back or nothing else. Only refer to flow charts and questions. Flow charts are you'll also get in the exam idea, okay? Exam idea simplified bulega. Not the original book. Original books are not now. You don't have time for all that. So you get a simplified version of exam idea, okay? Exam idea simplified you get. I don't have place to write it here. Exam idea simplified. Idea. This is available for all the subjects. PC, LLG, science, math, social science, and English, and Hindi, everything is there. So, exam idea you have to purchase the book. Read only and only. This is also important. Read only your MCQs in exam idea. Don't look at long answers. Yahan se, till date, not a single question has come from exam idea. Okay, so don't look at long answers and read the flow charts. Now these flow charts are really awesome. Okay, there's some real genius has prepared this flow chart. So you should go through the flow charts of exam. Okay, awesome flow charts. So exam idea and Oswald flow charts. Oswald for question answers. Exam idea for only MCQs. Only MCQs and only for social. Only for social look at this. But flow chart is free for all the subjects. English and Sanskrit is nothing. Na? So remaining subjects, everything, please look at the flow chart. That should be your material for last minute. Iskia Lawan, don't refer any other book. Please. No reference books, nothing. Okay, NCIT exercises I was just telling you, so this is obviously important. So again I'm repeating it over here. So you have uh, exercises. Okay, this is very very important. Matlab, every single question you should know. Not like I don't know this question, this question is No, you have to know every single question in exercises by heart. By heart, matlab, aisa, don't mug up everything. By heart, in the sense, from your heart, you should know the questions. Even if you're like sleeping, you should know. Like, if I give you a question, say answer this immediately. Looking at the question, you should say, Ah, this is question number so and so from this exercise. Okay, and you should be able to solve it. No other option. Exercises is easy. That is why I'm telling you. It's easy. That is why you should know this stuff. Okay, and then examples. This also you should know for every single chapter. It is a must, must. It should be done. Okay, and then exemplar. Now, exemplar is like a very huge bank. Okay, so you might not be able to do everything now. So, if you've done it throughout the year, excellent, very fine. But if you're not done it throughout the year, if you're like just really listening to this exemplar for the first time in your life, I'll tell you simple hai. Exemplar may science ka MCQs ka do. Okay. Science you do MCQs. You do long answer questions and value based questions. Okay. And maths may only do the difficult questions. Difficult but love. Questions that you feel difficult. For example, if you think that quadratic equation is difficult. So only quadratic equation ka sub kush kalo. Don't look at everything. Like easy chapters in a coffee sap or scoring chapters like probability statistics and all that. Don't even look at that stuff. Probability sub kuch nahi aya. It's very easy for you na. So why would you like to waste your time with example? Okay. So for example, you have difficulty in quadratics. So quadratics ka example kalo all the questions. Only difficult chapters, but you should do it. Okay. Example, you must have a grip on what is there and how it is done. Okay, these are your NCRT exercise materials. NCRT solutions are available by Aryan. So these are like awesome solutions. You get detailed solution. You also get thought process. How you supposed to go about with the question? That's very good. But uh, if you don't have this solution, it's available online also. So I'll give you a source. Okay, this is called askiits.com. Ask IITs. Now these are like it's an awesome website. Okay, so you will get every single NCRT solution 
every single exemplar solution, example solution, every single board paper you will get in this. Okay, board exam paper. So even 10 years board paper you will get in ask like So please go through this. Okay, mask already bata diya hai, maine kya karni hai. There's I guess nothing over here. So let's now discuss about the exam that you have in maths. Okay, board exam maths kaisa aayega? Everyone say maths board exam is tough. Aye, that's very tough. Is it really tough? Okay. So we'll discuss that, okay? Whether it's tough or not. Now, actually, I personally know that it's tough. Okay? Mass exam is tougher than other subjects, okay? But there is a certain pattern that you can see in your board paper. You also know that it's getting tougher every year. Matlab, 2015 was tough, 16 was tougher, or 17 will be the toughest. No, not like that. There is a pattern that maths board exam, you know, actually follows. Okay, every year they are increasing the hots, higher order thinking skill, they are increasing the hots first. Second, out of this paper, most of the questions are very easy, but still you are not able to answer them because of calculation. Like even one more question ke liye, calculation goes on like something like half a page or maybe even one page of your answer sheet you writing big. So this is something which is very difficult for board exam. Itna bada calculation data, dima kaab ho jata. You will not be able to do it. That is why I am telling you. This is the only tough problem. Other than that, maybe there is something like maybe one three mark question, one two mark question, which you don't know. But like you don't know, you didn't even understand the question. That's fine, na. I mean that's not your fault. I mean obviously it's your fault, but you cannot do anything about it now. Exam a bad kill okay, so there's no problem. You'll not get any solution. You'll not get to know anything about it. So try to attend the question, try to like, whatever is given, just write it up, okay. But calculation, matlab kya hai ki, most of the questions, you find the time very short, as in you won't get enough time to solve the questions, because of huge calculations. Okay, some of you might be following like Vedic maths and all, but still, it's quite difficult, okay, you're like time congested in this maths. Same thing happens to 12 boards also. So I'll give you a very perfect tip for this. There is no achievement you can do solving the calculations. Let me give you, uh, I don't have any example over here. It's in the other class now, I don't have the book. But let me give you the marking scheme. This is 100% genuine. So if you're like writing in a question, a general question I'm talking about, okay, some, you know, some verbal question or something. If you're writing given, okay. Given, ye sab. Okay, if there's something true, then you like to prove. Okay, something. And then figure if there is any figure. Coordinate to the by. So if you're writing this much, it is given x plus y is equal to let. Matlab given se pehle let aana chahiye. Like let x kilometer per hour be the speed of the stream. Let y kilometer per hour be the speed of the boat. Given that x minus y that is 4x minus 3y is equal to 24, and 5x minus 4y is equal to 24. That is from word you're converting it to your required equation. This first thing. This will at least fetch you one to two marks. Really, you're doing nothing here, na? You're just taking what is there in the question, writing this. Why? Because this proves that you understood the question. This proves that you understood the question. So at least it will fetch you one mark. Maybe for a three mark average question, for a three mark question, it will fetch you one mark. Okay. Next, you are applying the formula. So if you write the formula, only the formula, yeah. now try to understand this. You're writing only the formula, nothing else, no substitution, nothing. Okay, so suppose for example, uh, volume of a cylinder is uh, pi r square h. This will fetch you half a mark. Trust me, I'm telling you, this is no exaggeration. I have seen the marking scheme, okay, and I have myself, I have been a part of it. Okay, that's why I'm telling you, trust me. You will get half mark for your formula, especially for surface areas and volumes. Mensuration is a scoring topic because you know the formulas. You by heart in the formulas, nothing else is there in that. Okay, volume of a cone is 1 by 3 of this. So if you're writing this, you know, but the poor sentence like they're not very, no, no shortcuts over here, okay, no abbreviations. So volume of cone. Don't just write V. Volume of cone, pura liquid. This will give you. Suppose, say half mark, okay, and this thing is already given you one mark, okay, this is given, na, matlab, kone ke liye write R is equal to this, H is equal to this, okay, and volume is equal to this, this will give you how much now, you already got one mark over here, and half mark over here, 
now you are substituting the values that is 1 by 3 pi instead of r whatever is there if there is something like maybe 5 then you write uh, 25 okay and if height is like maybe 2 then you write 2 meters or something this will give you another half no joke see see how you are scoring marks you are doing nothing this is the fact you are doing nothing kuch nahi kare ho you are getting marks like this just you are writing the given stuff you are writing the formula you are substituting the value how much you got 2 marks out of 3 marks done now you can do some basic simplification you know, 25 1 by 3 25 2 sa karo 50 a jayega so it will be like uh, pi by pi into 50 upon 3 leave it like this okay required volume is equal to pi into 50 by 3 whatever it is something like maybe centimeter cube okay with the unit with the unit unit is very important leave it like this let me tell you if you solve this pi into 50 by 3 pi ko bhi apne value dal diya 22 by 7 into 50 by 3 solving this will at least for an average person it will take um, let us say 5 minutes even 5 like 3 minutes liya apne it is very fast. It is fast calculation. Let us take 5 minutes. Okay. You have 5 minutes. You have taken your effort, made this very huge calculation for 5 minutes. How much marks is remaining? You have already got 2 marks. You will get only 1 mark. 1 mark. For 5 minutes of effort. If you would have put the same 5 minutes in your next question, okay. And in the next question, if you have written probability of event E is equal to favorable outcome upon total outcome, favorable outcome is equal to so and so, total outcome is equal to so and so, therefore probability of event E is equal to this upon this. If you have written this much, then you would have again got two marks here. And you got two marks already over here. Kitna hua total? Four marks. But if you take the same 5 minutes and complete the calculation here, you get only 1 mark. Total will be 3 marks. Later, after time is finished. This is a very simple question, but you will not be able to answer this. That's the point. Matla, whatever time you are spending is not sufficient. Maybe it is sufficient for bright students, it's sufficient to complete the paper. Okay, but average students, it's not sufficient. You will not get time to complete the paper. So why would you like to take a risk doing something which will not fetch you marks? Okay, calculation is something which will only give you one mark. But if you spend the same five minutes on something like given, even if you had given a formula of some other question, you would have got at least two marks over there. So why would you like to waste your time getting less marks for the same effort and time you're putting in another question? Getting it? Are you getting my point? Give me two more minutes. One second. Okay, I'll, I'm a little busy over here. Just give me a minute, okay? Okay. Ye funda pata chala. How are you supposed to score marks? So tell me what you will do. Aap mujhe bata, how what you will do? Now I told you what is the fact. I told you what is the point. Now what is the solution for this? Okay, this is very simple. After writing given volume substitution me again, simple simplification. Simple simplification means simple cancellation. Whatever there is cancellation in everything you do. Okay. After doing that, you get a question which has to be either multiplied or divided. Addition, subtraction also you do. No problem. Only multiplication and division. If you think you're slow in calculation. Or even if you're fast in calculation, you cannot do it as fast as I'm you know expecting you to do so. So you underline the Okay. Volume is equal to so and so. Put an underline and leave it. At least if you think you will forget it in the like later phase of your exam, put a small fold in your answer sheet. Edge and answer sheet. Make a small fold. So that you know that there is something incomplete in this page. Leave the question over there. No worries. Even if you lose one mark, no worries. Because if you are trying to scavenge this one mark, you lose three marks in the next question. So please don't do such a thing. Okay. And then go on with the next question. Write your P of E. 
a favorable outcome, total outcome. Probability is equal to favorable outcome total. Now this will be usual simplification will be easy for you. Even if it's not, you're not going to divide anything. Only simplification. If it's a fraction, fraction go chodo. Please don't write it in decimals. Please don't write it in decimals. Because decimal will give you a lot of, you know, it's going to waste your time and that is not correct. If you're writing in decimal, your answer is wrong. Probability is in fraction, always and always in fraction. I don't know what your school teacher has taught you. Most of the schools teach you to make it in decimal, but that's not the right choice. Please leave it in fraction. So after bringing it to a simplest form, just put a box and leave it. You hardly spend maybe one minute in this question. One minute, nine to two minutes, Lilo. Here you spend five minutes. You spend five minutes to get one mark. Here you spend two minutes to get three marks, which is worth this thing. Okay. Now what you'll do is next question, guys. Uh, question number four, maybe. And the question number four is something which you totally don't understand. Put so much money in it. Okay. Some trigonometric question. Application of trigonometry. Again, some height of this building, height of this building. A person is standing here. Simple, na. Try to do the diagram. Diagram ka sakto. Try to read the question. Draw the diagram. Okay. From this top, from this top. They say this height is x. So here, if I have a parallel line, then this will also be x. This will be x minus h. They are given h as something. Or maybe they are given this is theta. Yeah, pick any theta. This is also theta because these two are parallel lines. 180 minus theta, sorry. 180 minus theta. So at least doing this much, I'll tell you applications of trigonometry. Man, doing this much will give you. I'm talking about an average three mark question. Three mark question. Man, it's not me. You will get at least one mark. Okay. Now you know theta. Make a guess. Just guess. Right sine theta is equal to this. Cos theta is equal to this. Whatever it is. Okay, wherever you get this. Now, if, suppose if you want to find x, then that is what exactly is it? With respect to this theta, it is opposite. With respect to this theta, it is opposite. Opposite upon hypotenuse. Do you know the hypotenuse? Nahi pata hai. No issues. You know the base now. Base is common. Base is equal. So opposite upon base kya hai? Tan theta. So yahan pe apko theta pata hai. You know this particular. You need to find this side. Bases are equal. So tan theta is equal to tan theta. Theta theta equal hai, basis equal hai. Just equate the opposite sides. Hai na? So if you're not able to understand this also, if you're not able to do anything, diagram karo, okay? And you know there's something about tan or sine. You don't know which. Write both. That thing, you're not going to waste your time. Sine theta is equal to this. Tan theta is equal to this. Now, automatically, as soon as you write sine and tan, you will know, ah, tan me mil gaya mujhe ratio. So take tan, right tan of theta, tan of 180 minus theta is tan theta is equal to cot theta. Tan theta, cot theta, equate karo. Okay. Get your answer. No need to simplify. Suppose you're getting something like maybe 180 minus pi upon 60 is equal to x into 180 plus 40. Chodo na isko. Who is asking you to solve this question? Just give me a minute. Just to essay chodo. So put a box over here and leave the question. Clear? How are you going to do this? Any doubt? This should be your approach. Don't sit and solve the entire question. Please do how much you can. Whenever it comes to simplification, nobody cares whether you're doing your simplification correctly or not. They can't tell you one more thing also. I'll tell you one more thing. See, when you're doing your simplification, if you make a mistake in calculation, they will not give you marks for calculation because calculation is something you learned in your first grade and second grade. So they'll cut marks rigorously over there. But if you're not doing calculation, even if they cut the complete one mark, they have to give you marks for everything that you've done before that. Okay, stepwise marking will be given to you. So please follow this approach. You will do good in maths. Okay, calculation puts good good. At the end, when you have time, whatever pages you have folded, come back, solve the calculations. How much ever you can do it. Simple. Okay. Let's have a look at your approach for sign. Now, sign's approach is nothing. Okay. 
it's very easy simple subjective questions laega all you need i'll not even use your board over here i'll simply tell you all you need to do is just write down whatever comes in your mind answer everything correctly first and the foremost complete bio and chemistry because biology and chemistry is subjective questions you'll be able to do it physics ke liye follow the same approach i told you in your maths that is if the calculation seems big leave it there go for the next question physics will have hardly one or two numericals for once your entire paper is done come back and solve it chemistry may you'll have easy questions so please prepare for chemistry concept two chemistry will be hot which hot now these hot are usually these thing they will test your logic extremely high chemistry mein aapka logical reasoning will be extremely high so if you are not able to answer these questions as if you are not able to answer the chemistry questions please prepare your theory well okay you have hardly two or three chapters in chemistry prepare the theory okay acid bases and salts are all very important the ph indication and your carbon and compounds the carbon and compounds with a bahut sare prepare it okay chemistry ka theory you must be 100% sure on what you are learning don't try to by heart anything in chemistry because by hearting will not help you in your logical questions a compound x element y for that what the such question will be there right you will be asked so many questions like that compound x is this compound y is this what is the reaction what is y what is a if heat is liberated what is the gas involved so please learn all your equations equations matlab not the important ones every single equation given in your chapter that's it pura ka ncert book mein from beginning to end including exercise whatever question is given whatever equation is given chemical equations write everything balanced in a sheet of paper in a sheet of paper put serial number write all the equations okay if you are writing all the equations there is no doubt at all you will not have any doubt for that okay because you are writing down everything whatever doubt you have it's impossible now you there's no chance that you get any doubt in you so write down the equations please do this okay so that wherever you been given x y even if you given like esterification is usually asked like this okay so if they'll, they'll give you that uh, like maybe sodium acetate is uh, taken or where some element y is taken it is added with uh, sulfuric acid and boiled and you will get a uh, sweet fruity smell what is the gas involved what is compound y so compound y is you know it is sodium acetate because you know the equation na if you know the equation okay then if you know the characteristic smell all the tests matlab which is the gas now for example they tell you that certain reaction is taken blah 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 and all that and the gas is evolved which turns lime water milky what is the gas you must immediately know it's carbon dioxide similarly if some gas is there which is bubbled and the uh, the bubble extinguishes fire which gas is that hydrogen you know so you must know this a gas with pungent smell ammonia yeah so you must know these gases very very important all the gases their characteristics their smell characteristic even ether uh, not ether so ester for esterification reaction through this smell ester so all the characteristic smells reactions turning lime water milky you know extinguishing fire all those gases if a gas is taken it is passed through white that is uh, you know anhydrous anhydrous matlab pata hai na there is no water content in that no water of crystallization so anhydrous uh, uh, copper sulfate is taken a gas is passed through it and the gas turns copper sulfate blue what is the gas it is water vapor because it is anhydrous white in color it turns blue matlab there is water of crystallization that is added to the uh, particular copper sulfate uh, crystals so these are stuff you must know it is all the tests in chemistry that is a must if you know these 90% of the questions will be able to solve simple reasoning questions you must have very good conceptual idea so that's the reason i'm again telling you read the textbook if you're not understanding please watch some video lectures okay ask some teacher get your doubts cleared don't leave anything behind don't think that ha there's something there could be something going on chalo isko main by heart kar deta hu ho gaya no you must know reason why and when and how for every single thing in chemistry okay that's how i will tackle chemistry bio mein to there is nothing for you heredity and evolution reproduction kar loge na reproduction how do organisms reproduce and heredity the only two uh, question uh, equation uh, chapters for you heredity and evolution mein you will be asked uh, this thing that is pea plant experiment you know so 
ये टेबल आना चाहिए आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम टेकिंग समथिंग लाइक मे बी एक्स एक्स वाई वाई देन आई गेट एक्स वाई एक्स वाई एक्स वाई एक्स वाई ना अगेन आई एम टेकिंग अनादर टेबल दिस टाइम आई टेक एक्स वाई एक्स वाई देन आई गेट एक्स 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 वाई एक्स वाई 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 ओके दीज आर योर चैप दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन योर हेरिडिटी एंड एवोल्यूशन सो मस्ट नो सच टेबल्स एंड हाउ टू गेट स्पेशली फॉर योर पी प्लांट ना the peas with uh, yellow you know peas tight peas okay sweet peas tender peas and old peas and especially for your bugs red bug green bug and all that and isolations everything should be there okay if you know these stuff then bio you can crack it out and physics ke liye once again the same formula so pehle formula numericals practice kiya hoga aapne and in your exam if you're not able to do the calculation leave it and then at the end do it board exam papers i told you it's very very important what are the papers you supposed to solve i have already told this to you you have to solve all india papers okay and then if you get time solve delhi don't solve foreign these are very easy papers to solve or delhi is very very tough this is tough okay this is easy so if you are solving easy good then go for tough पहले ऑल इंडिया में 100 परसेंट उसके बाद योर दिल्ली पेपर्स अगेन हियर सेट वन यू सॉल्व ओके एंड सेट टू में ओनली सॉल्व दी अनकॉमन क्वेश्चंस आफ्टर दिस ओनली सॉल्व योर अनकॉमन क्वेश्चंस मतलब क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर नॉट इन सेट वन बट दे आर इन सेट टू एंड सेट थ्री ओनली दोस क्वेश्चंस यू सॉल्व and verify your answer with solutions you can if you are not getting it anyway you will get it in scanner you will get it in together with you will get it also in exam id and oswal but if you are not getting your board papers anyway then simple go for you know, log in to again i am telling this askiits.com they have board papers with solutions So please download these papers. They have it since some 1990s or something. So you have to only refer to 2012. I'll tell you, 2012 to 2016. Okay, and do this in reverse order. 16 to 15, kalo 15 ke baad 14, then 13, and then 12. Five years paper is there. Okay, five years. Only do this much. Okay. You can do this, and for your science, actually three for other subjects other than maths, only three years is sufficient. Okay, for maths do five years, for science, social, English, and Sanskrit do only three years. But if you get papers, please do it for five years also. Especially science, science also you can add it over here. So maths and science do it for five years. Your SST, English, English also you do it, huh? Don't don't leave English. English is not easy for you. Okay, please do English also board papers and uh, your Sanskrit or Hindi, whatever you take it. Okay, you get all the papers in Ask IT. So just go through all these papers. Okay, during the exam, how are you going to answer everything? Again, I told you this. Again, I'm repeating this. When you're given the answer sheet, what you will do? Okay, the first page in your answer sheet will have OMR. I hope you already know this because you might have already written quite a few papers now. Maybe two or three papers will be there. I don't have the date sheet now. Just give me a comment, okay? If it's helping you out, so now OMR is like this, okay? So if you're like given, suppose your whole number is ten, uh, fourteen, okay? Then ten, fourteen, how do you do? One, shade it here. Shading, whatever, everything has to be done very perfectly. Okay, don't make any mistake. Please refer to it and then do it. Okay, or zero के लिए यहाँ पे shade करो तब भी बहुत मुश्किल है. Again one. Okay, one shade करो. Okay, so this shading has to be done properly because first page is fully OMR based. Okay, and uh, that's it. Or baki papers को भी करो दे. There is any at, uh, no attachment. You have to tag it. Do not staple because. Board exam people usually reject such you know activities. 
attachments. Don't staple your attachments. If you're given any map, graph sheet, or anything, don't staple it. Ask for the tag. If the invigilator is asking you to staple, it's fine. Otherwise, please don't staple it by default. Don't take any stapler from your home, no glue, nothing. They will give you a tag most probably. So tag your paper. That is the most classic and the best way. Okay. Answer sheet may write it spaciously. There is nothing to worry. There is no uh, you know, insufficiency of space. Leave sufficient spaces if you are leaving the calculation part. Suppose you are not able to solve this question, you left the calculation. Then leave that page. You know? Other page to leave it. If you know only something like five lines, then leave some half page, then write question number uh, three or something. And then go. Because yaha pe you need space to do the calculation. Calculation can you need space. After that, it shouldn't be congested. If you are making a mistake, do not try to you know correct it there itself. Put a whole strike and write it again. Complete strike and write the entire thing again. I'll tell all this to you in the presentation. Okay. So this is clear. And during exam, once again, have your water bottle. Don't take anything else. All these are simple. Okay. I'm, this will be very childish if I try to tell everything to you. Okay. Be calm, relax, cool, and all that stuff. Okay. There's nothing to worry about. And uh, uh, there's one more thing. That is during your exam. Okay. Like when you when you're writing your exam. Uh, what else about to tell you is? Okay. We'll do it in uh, this conduct scene. So during exam, that's all you need to know. Okay, this is very important. Basic exam conduct. So basic exam conduct, I have prepared this myself. Okay, and this is very simple stuff. Okay, some conduct or some you know behavioral uh, you know intimation that you should have during your exam okay, when you're writing an exam, especially some prestigious exam like your board exam, something that's going to be very important for you later on, for your ASS list. Okay. So the simple conduct is to look at your answer sheet. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to tell this out, you know, uh, so as to you know scare you, hurt you, or you know, target you. But it's simple. Nothing against you. Look at your answer sheet. Simple. You don't need any excuses for that. You don't need any reasons for that. No fear. Right? There is no guilt. Look at your answer sheet. You've been uh, given such beautiful answer sheet. Why you not look around? I know you love nature. I know you love your surroundings. I know you. A social person want to make friendship with everybody. You got time for that, brother. You're writing your exam. Please look at your answer sheet. That will save your time. That will give you concentration, and that will help you not get into any trouble. This is the only basic conduct. Only and only basic conduct. Look at your only your okay. Look at only your answer sheet. This is the only thing I like. And don't mark anything on your question paper. Okay, don't do anything other than looking at your answer sheet, writing your questions, whatever you want to write, write in your answer sheet. Don't do anything other than that. Please. Nothing other than that. Okay, because I know how you all have got till here, but let us forget everything that has happened in the past and will happen in the future. Right now, you are writing your exam. Look at your answer sheet, write everything in your answer sheet, and please close it up. Okay? Let's not make it like I don't want to make it any more awkward. That's why, because see, it would be more like targeting you people, right? Because I know I, I can almost see through and through and you know observe you people. So there's nothing like that, okay? So I've told you in a sweet and simple way. Look at your answer sheet. Now, presentation. I've already been discussing this since the beginning. How you supposed to present your answer? The same thing, you know, leave space and all that stuff. Just, just do it. Don't worry, and nobody cares about your handwriting. If they are able to understand it, as long as they are able to understand it, you will be given marks. And those friends of yours who say that uh, my handwriting is not good, that's why I'm not writing my board exam. Don't just don't bother them because that's just an excuse, you know, to write home exam. So forget it. And even if you're writing home exam, that's not big insult, okay? Because something like, something that you preferred, you know, and you've been given the opportunity, you've been given equal rights to choose whatever you want. And board exam is nothing prestigious. I told you, home exam could be even tougher. So just go ahead with what you're doing. The presentation has to reflect what you are, uh, what your mental state is, so there is nothing to worry about it. Okay, your handwriting is bad, doesn't matter, but it shouldn't be worse, as in it should be understandable. And do underline important points in your essay. Social science may underline your important points. For maths and science, science may write point wise, maths may obviously there is nothing. 
for English, do not write anything point wise. If you write anything point wise, you'll be cut marks because English is something where you're supposed to express your thoughts in your language. Okay, not in what are the content and what are the points you're given. So please don't write anything point wise. That's your basic presentation. Post exam. After you complete your exam, what would you do? As in, after you complete that particular paper, preparing for the next exam should be your main thing. And even more important than that, now 90%, uh, not 90, I could say even 99.99% people. So they say that you're not supposed to discuss what you've done in your exam. Just after you complete your exam, shut up your mouth, just come to home, have food, prepare for the next exam. Do not discuss anything. I'm against that. Please discuss it. Why am I saying this is because you have done bad in maths. Let us consider this. I'm not trying to, you know, target you. But still, if you've done bad in maths, you've not done good in maths. Okay? you keeping it in your mind, okay, in your head. Are they maths chala gaya mera. Marks kam ho jayega. Then you will start making some imaginary fantasies. You'll be like, ah, wo topper aa chuka hoga. It is so insulting. If, if this is in your mind, you know, and the kuch question hai chhod gaya, some one mark question, then you would be like, I don't know what's the answer of that question. Kaash mein answer correct hota. Na kya likha hai mein answer mein. Don't have such thoughts. Phir ghar aana, internet mein check karna, is this the right answer? Then putting it on forums, you know, Quora and all this stuff. Emailing it to me, sir, what is the right answer for this? Looking at the textbook, studying. Aray yaar, next exam hai, why are you studying your previous exam? Okay, so instead of this, short and simple, discuss it with your friends, close it over there. Don't discuss it like till your next exam, okay? When when you completed your exam, you are in your exam hall, you have your friends. Okay, there is nothing to hide, as in you have not done some secretive stuff over there, okay? You not done, you are not, you know, hidden some treasure in your answer sheet. So please discuss it with your friends and cover it off and don't care about anybody else. Whether it be your parents, your teacher, anybody who is telling this to you. If you are comfortable going home, forgetting everything, you know, completely detached from your previous subject, that's fine. But 99% of us are not. We, we are always worrying about what we done previously instead of thinking about the future. So there's the best way to overcome is to discuss with your friends. They're like, Are, ye chala gaya. And he will say, Nahi, mera bhi chala gaya. And you will feel confident. Ah, many have made a mistake. Maybe it was a tough question. And they're like, ye mujhe pata nahi yaar. Maine ye answer dala. Is this right or wrong? Are, yaar, that's correct. Then at least for the next exam, you'll not be thinking, Ki, ah, wo ek question cha chuka hai mera. Because you know that's correct. Even if it is wrong. Suppose he says, Nahi, ye wrong hai. Then at least you know it's wrong. Now, matlab, fir aake ghar mein, forum mein, kora mein type karna, textbook padna. You don't need to verify your answers. Are you getting it? Okay, so don't get any wrong ideas. If your friend says, I forget about this next exam, easy hai. English hai, let's have fun. Don't look at those stuff. But what I'm trying to do is, discussing the paper with your friend is a good fact. In fact, that's really good and that will help you for your detachment from the previous exam. Jo exam likhe aayo, get detached from it. Don't think about it until your next exam is over. Until your, all your exams are over. So this detachment is only and only possible when you are satisfied or when you know what you have done. Okay? And to know what you have done, you have to discuss it with somebody. So please discuss it with your friends. Clear it off there. Don't have any doubts in your mind. That is the first and the foremost post exam. Thing. Don't leave your reference books, textbooks in your center, your exam center, wherever it is. Your hall tickets and everything has to be carefully put back in your bag. Gharaki pura bag fenki chala gaya. Next exam is doon rayo books ka hai, ka hai, hall ticket ka hai. Don't do that stuff. Okay, all these are simple common sense. I hope you are mature enough to know this. Okay, and post exam, get detached from the previous exam. This is very, 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 very important. Put a star over it. Detachment from the previous exam is a must. Only and only if you want to succeed in the post exam. Okay? Final is your result and analysis. Now you have written all your exam. You want to come home, sitting in your home, having fun. And then you have your result date. Suppose they say 28. Usually last year we had on 28 of June. So 28 of June you have your result. Then what are you going to do? Yeah, it's a worrying thing, right? Because result, uh, even mostly, even the topper students will worry about this equally as your poor students. Everyone will be like worried about the result, right? I mean, the range is different. Somebody is like, will I get 10 CGP or not? Somebody is like, will I pass or not? But you will have that tension, huh? especially for 10th, you will have it, I guess. There's no option, like you cannot have any fear. You can log into your CBSE website, you'll get the result over there, cbseacademic.nic. You'll get it in your uh, school also, I guess. Okay, and it'll be like really crowded, okay, on your result day. It's a very fun thing to, you know, wait for your results. <laughs> I still remember it now. So, it's more like 
your entire server is down it's so crowded because you know what like millions of students who are going on and logging in continuously every second okay and some are happy some are sad but you just cannot get the result on time if they tell you like the result will be out at 8 in the morning maybe 8 o'clock in the morning then only and only be able to look at the result after maybe like 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening okay because everyone is attempting now there's supposed to be some patience okay Somebody must have a little common sense that no, if I also try, somebody else also try, the server will be low. The website won't accommodate for the result. But nobody has that common sense. Yeah, everyone has gone crazy about the result. So nobody gets to know the result. That's a fact. Nobody, not a single student. You call your friends, they will say, I'm searching, I'm searching. Nobody will get the result. Because 8 o'clock was sabi bhare bade ha pe kaise mile ka result. Hana? So you have some maturity, you are a brilliant guy, right? So forget about it. Cool with the result, whatever has happened has happened, there's nothing to regret, there's nothing to even be happy about. Okay, so just leave it. Evening go jacket check the result. There is no anticipation here. Okay, so don't leave your food and all and just you know sit in front of your PC continuously logging in. Evening go check, karo, you will get the result by four o'clock. Your servers will be low, okay, and like all the you know traffic will be low. Sabi students ko result mil chuka hoga. Jisko nahi mila hai, wo soche ka kai kal leke, you know, kal dek lenge, fai feng diya hoga kai computer. So then you will be easily able to log into your CBC account and watch the reason. Okay? And don't be over proud sharing it to everybody. Okay? Uh, you must know that 11th channel will be even more horrible for you. So, uska bhi toda dhyan leklo. Okay? And uh, whoever is wondering what is CGP and all, um, you will usually get 10 CGP only for 10th if you are a good student. If you are uh, getting 9.8, these are all common CGP. Okay, usually I see these in my school. But if you are getting anything above 9 CGP, is a good thing. Okay, this is good. Anything above 9, greater than 9. This is good. Okay, if you are getting below 9, it's a little not good. Okay, very good, fine, happy. But it depends on your improvement, okay? It's like I'm asking somebody who's always getting 6 CGP and he's getting 8, I'll say not good. It's up to you. If you're getting something that is your level best, then happy about it. Nothing to care about, okay? This is the first thing. Second, CGP hai, mujhe 10 CGP hai mila hai, French ko bolega, mujhe 100% mila hai. Don't say such a thing, yeah? Because this is just simple foolishness. People will laugh at you. Okay, so when you get CGP, how are you supposed to convert it to percentage? First of all, CGP is a universal thing. All CBSE students know about CGP. So when they tell you how much did you get percentage, you tell them, Nahi yaar, I got my minus CBC, I got 10 out of 10 CGP, that's fine. Okay, or maybe 9 out, 9.8 out of 10 CGP, or maybe 10, 9 CGP out of 10. That's fine. But don't tell them that I got 98%, 10% and all that, 100%. So just so that you know, 10 CGP, CGPA is equal to 95% at an average, matlab 95 and above, that is 10 CGPA. If you are getting, say, that is simple, na, aapko calculation ke liye you must know only this much, CGPA, okay, upon, um, I guess 9.5 into 100, this is your formula, so you have to percentage mil jayega. Kindly tell that person to others. Don't tell, like, if you got 9.8 CGP is not 98%. It is something like 94% or something. Please tell that. Be frank, okay? So that's how you're supposed to analyze your result. You'll get your report cut only like two or three months after you got your result online. So also there is no impatience about that. Report card milega, aaj nakal milega, usko chhod do. Nothing to worry about. Report card ko khaane lo ge na, uk nahi lag raha hai. So chhod do usko. You don't worry about your report card. Clear about this? Okay, so as soon as you get your result, maybe even before you get your result itself, you might have applied for the new admission, especially for those integrated schools. They have like take admission even like maybe one month, like May may usually start with April may start with that school. March may exam, your paper has not even reached the respective evaluation center, you already started your 11th school. Fine, cool, nothing to worry about. So, you already school, they the least bother about the results. So, my admission. But if you uh, not yet applied for an admission, as soon as you get the result, please apply for an admission. Because even 10 CGPA students have so much that even if you got 10 CGPA, it doesn't guarantee that you will get admission. 
maybe you want to get admission in certain school but that school has got already 10 cgpa ka 50 students 11th ke liye already admission ho gaya so they will just kick you off okay so please be you know do this in a responsible and timely manner get the help of your parents to do this okay fine uh so that will complete your uh, board moderating session now if you have any doubts in this session or if you want to personally speak to me if you need my counseling or any other help from my side i'll be glad to help you out so here are my primary contacts as in try to contact me on these sources first pehle isme contact karne ki koshish karo my email id is tibu2000@gmail.com this is my first preference followed by my second preference agar first mein reply nahi mila to second mein karo second mein reply nahi mila to third mein karo third mein reply nahi mila to fourth mein karo that is ludwig2000@gmail.com tipsbooks@gmail.com or ludwigsuri@gmail.com always and always i'll reply in this email if you have some patience please email me on tibu2000 itself okay otherwise you can go for ludwig2000 tips books or ludwig suri at gmail.com okay and my youtube channel is always there with you tips books and stuff so this is my link youtube.com slash c slash tips books and stuff so you can comment below this video or you can comment it on general section if you want to give a public comment as in if you have any doubt you don't mind telling it in front of somebody you can do it but if you need something that you need personally ask me as you shouldn't know like aisa kuch hai jo baki log ko pata nahi chalna chahiye i understand you okay so you can email me nothing will be revealed i'll be shut you'll be shut and then i'll reply to you in the email itself okay and i'll not tell this to anybody so if there's any private help that you need please email me okay especially something regarding your counseling or maybe your whatever is your education and then there are some alternatives also uh, you can contact me on facebook facebook.com/netflixsurya this is actually not a page it's actually a profile so you can send me a friend request and then uh, after i accept the friend request you can give me a message or rather you just give me a message okay on facebook that's fine no okay on um, twitter i'm there at uh, litwick surya at tips and books okay at tips books or uh, this is my link twitter.com slash tips books and uh, google plus maybe i'm there with my youtube channel name it's up tips books and stuff you'll get it as plus.google.com slash u slash zero slash plus tips books and stuff so here i do not suggest you to go for twitter and google plus because i don't update it regularly So Facebook is the best option. Email, Facebook, and YouTube is the best option for you. These are my other sources. I cannot guarantee that I'll reply you in these sources. I'm in Instagram on tips underscore books. Instagram dot com slash tips underscore books. I'm there in Quora on Quora dot com slash profile slash topics Surya. One, you can follow me on Quora to know all my answers, and you can ask me question on the Quora form. It's an awesome website, by the way. Please become a member in Quora. It will help you for your education purposes also. Okay. So the first and the foremost preference is my email ID and my YouTube channel, followed by Facebook ID. The other ones I cannot guarantee you reply, but I'll see. If I get a good question, I can definitely reply on this. Okay. Fine. So it was awesome presenting this stuff to you. Hope you like it. Okay. Fine. And all the best for all your board exams and. Even for your eleventh standard, okay? Thank you.